we begin our journey to Western Kenya. Western Kenya is a powerhouse for sugar cane growers. But today, we are here for one reason, that's beekeeping. One of our clients had constructed an apiary and today, we wanted to inspect its condition. The apiary was constructed two years ago and he said had never harvested any product from it. This is the condition of the hives. The interior part was terrible and scary. Mm. No climbing stairs to inspect the upper hives. For inspection. It was so risky for us to inspect the hives. This is so painful to see bees trying to survive in this apiary. The kind of the hives are not well made. Thousands of bees are in here, but mismanaged. Poor flooring. Queen excluders not well placed. Some bees colony have constructed giant combs on the post. We decided to take some hives outside to see what's inside. Most of the hives are acting as homes for lizards. All hives that are empty, we have to remove them to a better apiary if the client approves our proposal. This is terrible. What's your recommendation? Number one, I'm not so impressed uh, because uh, I was working remotely. I was working with somebody who was on the ground. Unasikianga watu wa ground. Eh, unajua kwa kwa ground unapewa tu report we we have one beehive colonized. We have two beehives colonized. You don't even know the difference <laughs> eh, between a, a professional beehive and a, a, local, a beehive. local beehive. So I didn't know there is more than just those boxes. Now it is good that now you have reached us to come and solve the mess that was made. Mm. Many costs 150,000. 150,000 yes. Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings. That's a lot for such an appearance. All those things uh, we've seen, and we will go and make a proposal for you. Yeah. If you accept it, mm -hmm. we save this piece. So, in short, you're saying there's no way I can work around this project the way it, it is. It can't. It can't. From there, we shared a cup of tea to discuss how to solve the problem. After the report, we recommended to construct an apiary of 50 hives. We started with the hives. We laid the materials. Six by one, four by four. We are now working to restore the bees to a better manageable apiary. All the measurements have to be accurate. Treating the holes from termites is our key priority. If you need this design plan, please WhatsApp us on the number in the description. As we are working on the apiary, the hives we installed have started to colonize. This is an indication that the area has a lot of bees and it's a swarming season. Around this area, there is a plenty forage for the bees. Bees are crucial for crop yields due to their role as pollinators, leading to increased fruit set, seed production, and overall crop productivity. The apiary is taking shape. This time round, we will have a slanted roof. 
This apiary is not too far from the homestead, but we will construct fence it with iron sheets and construction net all round. Because of the nature of the roof, we have to install the chain link first. Why do we put chain link around the structure? Chain link fencing is important due to its afford, durability, and ease of installation and maintenance. It will protect the hives from animals and hunting birds. This apiary is unique in that the walking path at the middle is cemented. This is to easy the movement of the machine like wheelbarrow carrying the hives. But on the sides that's below the hive beds, we have put plain concrete. Plain concrete will absorb the heat from the sun during the day and minimize the colds at night. Our apiary now is taking shape on the roofing. Some people can use grass thatched roofing depending on the weather conditions. The slanted roof has its advantages and disadvantages. It is constructed with less timbers but allows more windy rains when no trees around the apiary. On both sides of the apiary, we have to install iron sheets to act as soundproof and direct contact on the hives. The apiary has to be cleaned every after three weeks and after the harvest. Water collection helps to service the trench around the apiary. If you want to know how the water trench works, please visit our previous apiaries on the link provided below. The apiary is ready for the bees to move in. If you feel this episode has changed your perspective in beekeeping, please hit the subscribe button and share. Easy movement with the hive inside the apiary is very important for the farmer. This spacing between the hives helps prevent drifting, which is when bees from one hive accidentally enter another hive. The spacing allows you to install even two super boxes on top of every brooder. If you are interested in this design, please WhatsApp us on the number below in the description. Our bees now will enjoy the new affordable home as the farmer enjoys the harvesting of the products. Thanks for watching, be blessed.